Hey, what's up guys? So you know it's best here. Don't mind my voice. I've been sick for about a week, so I know I sound a little weird, but we gotta keep these videos rolling, right? So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you three of the latest laptops coming from Razer. And Razer was kind enough to sponsor this video, and they also sent over three of their latest laptops. I'm holding all three of them in one hand. That's because individually they're pretty light, but they also have a really good performance to them. So I'm gonna cover all of that in a second, but it's gonna talk about what makes these laptops very similar to each other. Now, first is that all three of these laptops look exactly Exactly the same on the outside with the only difference is if you choose to go with a gunmetal color option with the razor blade stuff which is the smallest of the three but other than that they all look the same and they all have that same razor logo on the lid which does light up when you are using the laptops but I will say that these laptops do attract fingerprints and any other type of greasy mark that can get on your laptop so make sure you do care around that microfiber cloth that comes with it now all three of these laptops do have the fast Thunderbolt 3 ports on them and also a headphone and microphone jack and an HDMI port and the big brother the razor blade pro does also have a LAN port and also an sd card reader now all of the keyboards on the laptops are also featuring their razor chroma lighting which means that each individual key is individually backlit so you can go into their software and be able to customize each individual one to be a certain color or you can have all of them be in unison or you can just have them keep rotating colors so i really like the effect that it gives to these keyboards on these laptops and make them just stand out a little bit more and then the last thing is that all of these come shipped with 64-bit windows 10 with no bloatware which is a good thing but let's go ahead and talk about what makes these laptops different from each other and who would they be great for and so i'm gonna start off with the razor blade stealth which is the again smallest of the three so this is going to be the best option if you're trying to be light and portable as possible now probably the first thing you're going to notice on this laptop is the display and you have two options for displays you have a 13.3 option which is qhd plus and has a resolution of 3200 by 1800 and they also have a 12.5 inch display but it is 4k coming in with a resolution of 38 40 by 2160 and all these displays are going to be touch screen so you have very good flexibility depending on what you're doing productivity wise if you need to touch the screen or if you're just tired of using the mouse um, but each one of them does have very very good quality and so if you do decide to go with the QHD plus display you're going to be getting about 10 hours of battery life and you'll be getting seven hours of battery life with the 4k display and then with the 13 inch model you do have an option between the seventh gen or the eighth generation Intel Core i7 processor and on the 12 inch 4 4K model, you want to have an option with the seventh gen, but all of these are going to be coming with 16 gigabytes of RAM, PCIe M.2 storage up to one terabyte, and also they're going to be coming with the Intel UHD Graphics 620. And so obviously with this laptop, you're not going to be getting slam dunk off the wall graphics with this, but you will be getting a nice small package with a great display and still really good performance for everyday tasks. You will be able to have an experience in a small package that you can take anywhere with you without having it weigh you down. All right, so let's go ahead and keep things moving along and go one step up and take a look at the Razer Blade. And this is a 14 inch laptop that has two display options. You can get a 1080p display or you can go with a 4K touchscreen display. Now both of these have 16 gigabytes of RAM and the 1080p model has storage starting at 256 all the way up to a one terabyte SSD. And then the 4K model starts off at 512 and you can also get a one terabyte SSD as well. And then they both have the Intel Core i7 seventh generation processor inside of it and also the Nvidia GTX 1060 so this is a significant bump in graphics performance compared to the Razer Blade Stealth so it is a little bit bigger so you have a little bit more room in there to put more power in it and just for me playing games like Battlefield and uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 I find that the performance is very solid especially on the 1080p model that they sent me and I think really 1080p is a great sweet spot because you really get very good performance still a great display not as great as 4k uh, but you're still going to be getting really good frame rates and good performance in what you're doing but overall i would say that this is kind of the middle of the road laptop that has a really good fit for everybody not too big not too small uh, but the performance with the dedicated 1060 inside of it is going to be able to help push you through demanding applications and also to be able to allow you to get your game on anytime you want but now it's time to take a look at the big boy of the three this is the razor blade pro now this thing definitely has a size advantage over the other two uh, because 
it has a lot of space inside of it, but that's because it's gonna be packing a lot of power inside of it because the base version starts with a GTX 1060 on the 1080p display model. But if we go up to the 4K model, you can get a GTX 1080 inside of it, which is gonna allow you to do a lot of great things. Now the model they sent me is the 4K model, so it has the best performance, but it also has the better keyboard out of all the other laptops, including the 1080p version of this one, because the keyboard is a low profile mechanical keyboard, which is great. It's great to be able to use for typing and also for gaming. And then the trackpad, because it has a lot of surface area on the, on the laptop itself, is able to be pushed over to the right of the keyboard and you have a bigger trackpad for more surface area to be able to move your finger around. And then it also does have a scroll wheel on the top of that. And it also uses the same lighting effect that you find with all the other keyboards around the trackpad itself. So it just looks really cool. And then this 4K model is also THX certified. So you're gonna be getting a pre-calibrated display, which is gonna have amazing colors, great brightness to it. And then also too, you're gonna be getting amazing audio through the headphone jack. So once you plug your headphones in, you're gonna be able to get a really good high quality listening session. And then of course, having this GTX 1080 inside of it means that you're gonna be able to play all the latest games and really get a great experience out of it, even at 4K. Now of course, 4K is gonna be dropping some of the frames compared if you're playing at 1080p. But if you're really trying to get the best quality on your display and you may have some titles that may not be too demanding you're going to be a really good some really good high quality images coming on it and then also too just for normal everyday stuff being able to uh, watch movies and playback things in 4k on the display is really fantastic and so ultimately i just really like that razor has options you have options with each individual laptop but also too you have something for everybody for somebody just trying to be as portable as possible they have the stealth and then also you have the pro which allows you to really take a desktop replacement with you no matter where you are and then you have the razor blade which sits there right in the middle and it's probably my favorite out of the bunch because you get a little bit of both but ultimately it all depends on what your needs are and you definitely can check out razor's website to get more information and more details about all three of these different laptops and be able to configure them to your personal liking and then also for a limited time they have some really good deals going on right now so you can get discounts up to 350 dollars off of the stealth or up to 200 dollars off of the razor blade and up to 300 dollars off of the razor blade pro and so if you want to see more information about these deals check that link that's down below in my description box and also like always leave your comment down below what you think about this video and be sure to follow me on my social media networks and subscribe to me here on youtube so thank you for watching this video hanging in with me as i start to lose my voice even more but again thanks for watching this video guys and i will catch you later peace